I didn't do it. Hey, I recognize you from the circle. I, I, I know what they've been saying about me, but this, not my doing. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not broken up about them dying, to be perfectly honest. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. Oh, I know, I know. Most people enjoy being kicked in the head to be woken up each morning. Me, I'm just so picky. I am Anders, at your service. Mage and wanted apostate. An apostate? At Vigil's Keep? You weren't here when we arrived. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourself. We were just stopping here on our way back to the tower. Just a short rest, they said, and now they're dead. Such a shame. So they kept there. The Templars captured me and were taking me back, and then, you know, Darkspawn attacked. Could be a sign, yes? Isn't it, though? The Maker moves in mysterious ways. Well, tell you what, I'll help you and we can discuss what comes later. Later, once all these bastards are properly put down, yes? Joining the Wardens, eh? Well, good luck with that. King Alistair, your majesty beware, this man is a dangerous criminal. Oh, the dwarf is a bit of an ass, but I wouldn't go that. She means me. This is an apostate who we were in the process of bringing back to the circle to face justice. Oh, please. The things you people know about justice would fit into a thimble. I'll just escape again, anyhow. Never. I will see you hanged for what you've done here, murderer. Murderer? But those Templars were... Oh, what's the use? You won't believe me anyhow. It seems there isn't much to say. Unless you have something to add, Commander. What? Never! I believe the Grey Wardens still retain the right of conscription. No? I will allow it. If... If your Majesty feels it is best. Way to go, kid. Welcome aboard. Me? A Grey Warden? I guess that will work. Congratulations, Sir Mage. I look forward to fighting at your side. From this moment forth, Anders, you are a Grey Warden. So we need to drink Darkspawn blood? That's it? That is it, yes. Well, all right. But if I wake up two weeks from now on a ship bound for Ravain in nothing but my small clothes and a tattoo on my forehead, I'm blaming you. Commander, and will awaken in time. Look at that! Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? Sure, but Andraste was a real person once. Before she up and married the Maker, I mean. What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons, or be made tranquil. No doubt you're right. Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker. But the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. Sure, but we're not dragons. We can think for ourselves, usually. Oh well. She's still quite a looker for a prophet. I'm just saying. We're in a city. Where's the tavern? Ah, oh, can you smell that? That is the smell of freedom. It comes complete with the smell of dogs and dust. But the freedom is in there too. Oh, the fact that there are pies around to smell is a step up for me. I've had a pieless existence, more or less. I escaped from the tower seven times. After the last time, they put me in solitary confinement for a year. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Maleficar, true or not, and executed me. Hmm. 
Well, sure, now I am. Don't think the irony is lost on me. The problem is that majors are tolerated, barely. It's like you need permission to be alive. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. I should certainly hope so. Ugh. All I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. See? I knew you understood. Never mind me. Now and again I recall that I'm not sitting in a cell and I have to smile. That's all. Oi, about time you showed up. Nemea, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here, turns out you were right. The cache is here in Amaranthine. It is? You... you found it? I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I for one am done dealing with mages. Uh... I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. She's normally more welcoming than that. A lot more. Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages in the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. They might. I only know mine is there for certain. It is. And you should consider looking for your phylactery too. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness! I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage, but they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. Well, it could turn out to be nothing, but keep your ear to the ground anyway. Oh, look at the cute little kitty. There was a mouser in the tower named Mr. Wiggums. Only company I had when the Templars locked me up. Miss that beast a lot sometimes. But I can't keep a cat. We fight Darkspawn for a living. I suppose. Well, I'll keep him just for a while, until I find somewhere safer. Is that okay with you, Kitty? I'll call you Sir Pounce a lot. You can stay in my pack. Just for a little while, yes? So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? That's what I thought. I've never liked the idea of being trapped somewhere, to be honest. It reminds me of the Circle. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. I got really good at escaping the tower. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. The only thing I ever missed about the Circle was that cat, to be honest. Mr. Wiggums. He wasn't my cat, he was the tower's mouser, but he took a liking to me. There were days when that stupid cat was the only person I saw, except for it not being a person. Still, I liked him. Poor Mr. Wiggums. He became possessed by a rage demon, 
But he did take out three Templars. Oh, I was never more proud. A toast to Mr. Wiggums. Don't you agree, Sir Pouncelot? Who's a good kitty? You are. Oh, yes, 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 you are. May I point out that you're all right? You're all right. Really, when the Templars came for me, you could have decided I wasn't worth the trouble. But I apparently am worth the trouble. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. And I'm glad to be around. When you recruited me, I thought I was jumping from the frying pan into the fire. But being a warden is almost tolerable. It's a pleasant stroll through the park with Darkspawn. You're a giver. I'm very grateful. I thought it was worth mentioning. Thank you, Commander, for everything. Oh, I miss out on the suicide mission. Oh, life can be so unfair. But, uh, good luck. Chin up and all that.